Medical school can be grueling. Many years of intense studying and long hours, but there is a lighter side to it, as my next guest found out. He's a cardiologist at UConn Health. With us now is Dr. Jason Ryan. He just wrote this book, The Gunner. Dr. Ryan, good to see you here in the program. Good to be here, Dennis. Thanks for having me. So full disclosure, I met uh, Jason many, many years ago when our sons were playing football together and you were the coach. <laughs> Flag football, that's right. And Five I remember I said to old. my wife, I said, you know, having a cardiologist <laughs> as a coach is a good thing in sure, case something yeah. should go wrong. Hopefully, so, no, no, luckily none of the kids needed me. So <laughs> no, they good. did not. It was a safe season. Tell me a little bit about your background. Yeah, so I'm from Trumbull, Connecticut. Grew up uh, born and raised in Connecticut. Not born in Connecticut, but raised in Connecticut uh, and I went to the University of Connecticut for medical school and I've been teaching medical students there for about 15 years and I'm board certified as a cardiologist so that's my clinical field. And why'd you decide to become a cardiologist? Great question. Uh, when I started medical school, I didn't even know what a cardiologist was. And someone told me people wake them up in the middle of the night for chest pain, and I thought, that sounds bad. I crossed it off my list. But uh, uh, during my third year of medical school, I got to spend a day a week in a cardiologist's office. And that's when I first really understood what they do, and it was a great mix of old-fashioned medicine, talking to people, taking a history, doing an exam, but then high-tech echocardiograms and MRIs, and I, I just fell in love with it, and it stuck. So how did you find time to write a book? And That's a, a great question, yeah. So, and a parent. <laughs> right. So I wear a lot of different hats, uh, but I started my own medical education company in 2014, which really took off. It's a web company called Boards and Beyond. Uh, medical students use it around the globe to help prepare for board exams and study. And I sold it two years ago to McGraw-Hill, and it's given me some more free time. So I've cut back on clinical work, and I mostly just do teaching now. And I finally had reached a point in my life where I'd always wanted to write a book. I was one of those kids who was always reading and said, someday I'm going to write my own book. And so I thought, now's the time. Let's do it. And this is a fun look. It's a fun look, yeah. At medical school, tell yeah. me some funny stories. Yeah. You briefly, of course. Yeah. We want people to buy the book and read it. Gotcha. Yeah, no, I don't want to, no spoilers. <laughs> uh, but so, from teaching medical students, I've, I've long observed that what they go through today in 2024, totally different from what I went through. I graduated in 2001. So first of all, there's this explosion of online resources for them to learn from. So they have so many different ways to learn. And that's actually sometimes a, sh a challenge. Like, what do, how do I learn? What's the best way? And then the social media aspect has changed everything. So medical school has always been competitive, but now you can see how students you're competing with 100,000 miles away are studying for the same exam you're gonna take next month. And so the stress level is just enormous. And so I really wanted to capture that I wanted to write a story that captures the modern experience of medical school so that my students would find it familiar. So I want to ask you because you know so many businesses are having trouble finding people to hire. Yeah. Everywhere you look from police forces to companies to restaurants. Mm -hmm. Is it the same way in the medical field? Are you having a hard time getting young students to become doctors? There's always been a really high demand. The field pays very well. It's relatively immune to economic cycles. So the demand's always been up there. But I, I do think the the stress and the competitiveness, which is some of the elements I try to capture in the book, has escalated a lot. And so I think some people are maybe not going into it who might have done it uh, before, but the demand is still there enough to fill the school every year. What else should we know about the gunner? I mean, it tells a story of a young woman who's not from a privileged background. No one in her family went to medical school or even college, and she gets a full scholarship to medical school. So she walks in like Alice in Wonderland, eyes wide open to this new crazy place. And her classmates are all from Ivy League schools, and their parents are all surgeons and doctors, and she's very out of place. And so she has to find her way through this gauntlet. And it's a satire. You know, I'm a big fan of writers like, like Tom Wolfe, like Bonfire the Vanities, these kind of funny stories. So she goes through all these escapades trying to find her way through medical school in the modern era. The author is Dr. Jason Ryan, MD, and the book is The Gunner. Thanks for being on the program, Dr. Ryan. Thank and, you for having me. And best of luck. Appreciate it. Save some lives out there. Okay, thank you. <laughs>